YouTube was good as your boy Vic Blends. A lot of y'all have been asking me to see where I cut hair at. So in this video today, I'm going to take y'all to my barber station, show you guys my studio, and show y'all where I do all of my cuts at. It's probably one of my most frequently asked questions. So today, I'm about to show y'all. Harry's is a personal care brand that delivers a close and comfortable shave at a fair price. You could get them for as low as $2 per blade refill. As a professional barber myself, I know how important it is for you guys to get a fresh cut and continue to feel good about yourself. But I also know how hard it could be to try to get up with your barber all the time and get a consistent haircut and shave. So in the meantime, if you're trying to get to your barber, taking care of yourself at home is super important to keep up with that confidence. So Harry's can be a good solution for anybody looking for that fresh cut feeling at an affordable price while you're in between haircuts with your barber. My favorite part about Harry's is not just the affordable price you can get your razors at, but the fact that they have their own factory in Germany to ensure that quality. They even give you a 100% money back guarantee if the quality of your razor doesn't match their standard. You can redeem your trial set for $3 when you click the link in my description. In that trial set, you're gonna get a five blade razor, a weighted handle, a blade cover, and their foaming shave gel. That's a great deal, you gotta act fast while supplies last. Click the link down in my description below. All right, so we just pulled up to the studio and I'm gonna get my tools out of the car. I'm gonna say this, my studio is always empty because most of the haircuts that I do are house calls for celebrities, athletes, rappers, or studio calls. I never rarely keep my tools inside of my studio because I'm always getting called to pull up somewhere. So I always keep my stuff in my trunk in my travel to go bag. So anytime that I do have to pull up to the studio, I gotta unpack and pack up every single haircut. So that may get annoying sometimes, but should I do this most of the time mobile, so. All right, so here we are, we at the studio now. I'm gonna go ahead and walk y'all in. Get that door locked. So here it is. It is a super small space, as y'all can see. It's only what I need. This really was just a temporary fix for me while the shop got shut down last year for COVID. I had to go ahead and readjust. So this was a quick fix, somewhere I could get in there real quick, get right to work, and then I have to waste too much time trying to find like the perfect spot then. I just had to adjust to the situation that was going on. So this is my salon suite right now. So over here we got, you know, of course the chair. I got my station. I'll show y'all what's on my station. My station, I just got the 245 mat. I don't use it to charge. Everybody always asks me if I use this to charge. I don't. It is a wireless charging mat, but I just use it as a mat. I think I lost a cord for it. I keep just a couple of products. I'm very minimalistic when it comes to hair cutting. I think if any of y'all are in my academy, you guys will see, I really just use what I need. I never really overdo my services or my cuts. So I just got a couple of things, like my towel powder, of course, your barber salt, a little bit of liquid razor, shaving gel, of course, and then I have my finishing foam, which I can't say a lot about, but stay tuned for the end of the year. I got something crazy coming for y'all. A little extra neck duster. A compressor that is actually broken. <laughs> I don't use it anymore. I really haven't been using enhancements for probably like this whole past year. I use a little bit of fibers on a couple of clients here and there, but as far as using actual liquid enhancements, it's been a while since I've actually done that. And of course, you gotta stay clean at your razor box and your wet disinfectant. So going into like the bottom of my station, this is like a miscellaneous drawer. Got a bunch of messy things in here, extra brushes, combs, do-rag in there. Some sample clippers. So y'all see the uh, the new Babyliss joints that's coming out with the FX3. These are like some old samples. Give y'all a sneak peek. Came in a black version. All right, so these are actually to be released in the red version, the full final version. This is just a sample at CT Expo. So make sure y'all tune in there so y'all can get your hands on the first copy. This was like a sample they sent me a long time ago in black. But I couldn't even, I almost dropped that, but I couldn't even zero gap them, so I really didn't get to use them as much as I wanted to. Got like my square pay, always gotta keep that if you're a barber. An extra shaver. Yeah, just some random stuff in there, combs, a couple of different clips. But everybody got the miscellaneous drawer, that's mine. Keep my neck dusters in there too. Under my station, I just keep a couple extra bottles. I got like some Cantu spray, some more holding spray, some aftershave, water spray, and a bunch of extra clippers right there, a bunch of tools I don't use anymore. It's like my, my grill right there, it's like the graveyard. So any tools I don't use go under there as well. 
keep all my cords right there. Sometimes it might get in my way, but ain't got that much room. Keep the blow dryer right there on the side. I do cut with two ring lights. You don't really need two ring lights, but if you can get two ring lights, it's cool. Really one is enough so you know directly where your light is going, but I just picked the two really for no reason. Got like a little table right here. Towel warmer. This, if you ain't got a towel warmer, you guys gotta get one. It's like major key right here. Hot towels change the whole entire service you give your client. It helps out a lot with the preparation you gotta do for the skin, for the lineups. It's something I use in my system. I know Academy members know how often that we use those hot towels in preparation, but hot towel warmer is essential. Got my headrest, sound bar, speakers, got the TV of course. Uh, Katie got some of her stuff. Katie behind the camera. Let me show y'all Katie. <laughs> no. Katie behind the camera. She got her color here. She did a couple clients in here as well. Uh, this is my skateboard right here. I use this as a booster seat. Here, hold this. Let me show my booster seat. So I never got a booster seat, like an actual booster seat. I just used my skateboard. <laughs> and I stick it right there for the kids. So kids like it because it's a skateboard and everybody likes a skateboard as a kid. So I tell the kids hop up on the skateboard and uh, that's where they sit at. So I don't skate this board, I just use it for the booster seat. Then the shampoo area. Now you gotta have your shampoo area. It's essential to giving any type of next level haircut. You gotta wash the client's hair. Just got just got a bunch of shampoos here, a couple of different ones, ones Katie like, ones I like. I keep my horror brush back here as well. And then your scalp brush, this is to clean the scalp deeply. Deeply, is that a word? Deeply? Deeply clean the scalp? To, to deeply deep cleanse, cleanse the scalp. Yeah. I don't think deeply is a word. I think it is. Deeply probably not a word. And then this is like another like miscellaneous type. I'm sure I keep a lot of different pomades right there. And of course like refill on my alcohol, refill on Barberside, extra shampoo conditioners, extra neck strips. It's like another miscellaneous drawer, hot pick, some gloves. And I also keep my towels up there, but I ain't gonna lie, I got finesse for my towels. I put them in the, in the dryer. We got like a dryer room in here. I wash my towels and I forgot to take them off the dryer. I came back the next day, somebody snatched every towel I had. So I take a couple now from the house. Got my little laundry basket there for dirty towels. But hey, if you see this and you work in my salon suite where I need my towels, I know when y'all snatch them. So that's like a small rundown of my station, my setup. I don't want to unpack my stuff to show you because I'm literally just gonna pack it right back up. Like I said, most of the cuts that I do are mobile. I do a bunch of house calls for celebrities, athletes and stuff. So there's really no point in me keeping my stuff here. Because for me to go straight from my house to my studio to pick my stuff up to go to somebody's house, I don't waste too much time. I would rather just keep it in my baby's bag and then be able to go straight from the house. And then this is really the place that I'm at the least. Like I said, this is a temporary fix. I'm gonna show y'all this because when I show y'all the next move, it's gonna be crazy. And I wanna document this so y'all can see it. And to anybody out there too, man, document your journey and make sure you show every step of it right i want to have this video so i can show you guys in a year later where we're going to be at like i want to show y'all the growth and show y'all the grind you know i know everybody out there probably thinking victor lance probably got the craziest spot to cut at man i don't right now i'm in a regular salon suite just like everybody else and i'm making it work with what i got but my next move gonna be my best move y'all see soon where the level up's gonna be at but i can't say too much still working out the contract and the deal for that spot so you know, just showing y'all the station right now. Hopefully, y'all get motivated and seeing that you know I ain't got much as well, but I make do with what I do have. And we'll catch y'all in the next video.